morning ladies and gents uh, okay we are gonna go ahead and start this video uh, I used this morning meaningful beauty uh, skin brightening for the neck and your decliche I think I said that correctly um, I've had this for a while I like this product um, it's supposed to be sunny today and it's got a SPF of 30 in it so I have applied this to my face let this dry for about a minute just to make sure that it's kind of soaked in and we're going to go in with a let's see I'm going to go in this morning with uh, Dream Velvet number 60 and I'm going to use my fingers to apply I know a lot of people say don't use your fingers to put your makeup on, but you know what? If your fingers are clean, I say why not? I literally wash my hands every time before I put makeup on, so I feel like it leaves a pretty even foundation coverage. Even distribution, and then you can go back and touch up with a sponge to smooth out any um, areas that you feel like maybe have like a streaking effect or something to it. But normally, when I use my fingers, it goes on pretty smooth. This is, I put on a very, very thin coat, so it's almost just like putting on a moisturizer. Uh, it's very light. So I'm going to go in with Dream Velvet Porcelain. It's number 10. And I'm going to go in with Aesthetics Micro Itty Bitty Teeny Weeny Sponge. These do work pretty well for under eye. And as I've mentioned before, I don't go all the way to the edge of my eye with this. Um, you always typically, to do it correctly and it look right, is to take, you go come down with it and always go out to the edge of my, about the temple, you come down into a V. A lot of people do this differently, but I've found to get the best look of this application. Literally, we're using a, just a little tiny dot. And this has actually got enough product on it to go down the edge of my nose. Top of my lip. So, to the corner, out to the temple, and then you just kind of blot, blend it in, sponge, tap, 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 depending on the look and feel, what I'm doing for the day, bases on how my application is going on. If I'm going for a full effect, full coverage, all this changes. And I'm not going for full coverage today. I haven't been feeling very good the last couple of days. This tail is driving me nuts. So, get to see this pretty craziness here this morning. Anyhow, alright, let's finish that. Let's blend out that. I'm going to go to some nothing little itty bitty drop. So, typically when I do the highlight, I go edge of my nose, down, down, and then I kind of come into a V. So it's kind of diamond shaped. Marquee shape.
did my nails the other day. I love it. Black and then the ring finger got a real pretty, uh, he called it fancy sparkle. So, it's pretty black shimmer. Normally I've been using, um, I've been getting a matte finish on my nails, but I didn't do it this time because of the bling on the ring finger. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do our brows first today. After we've done that application. I'm using Milani. Uh, this is a natural taupe. And it's one of those that you twist up. I don't normally use like a creamy brow, but brow pencil. But I love Milani products. Their pigments are really good. I used to pick up my Milani at CVS, but CVS quit carrying it and replaced it with Elf. I mean, really? They should have picked up, CVS should have picked up Jordana. Their makeup's really good. For the price, it's cheap. Their mascara is amazing. Their mascara is less than $4. They don't, as far as I know, have it carry it in a waterproof, the Jordana, but the Jordana mascara even, even in the regular, not the waterproof, but regular, is amazing. You put it on and it really looks like you've got fake eyelashes on. Okay, so that's taupe in Milani. So we're just going to blend that just a touch to kind of smell, soften the edges. And hey, since you like exercising much, how about running for president? Oh. Is it going to do that? Why is that? Interesting. That's cute, right? That's it. All right, so that's done. All right, we're going to go in with Airspun. That's my all time go to. This is in translucent. Obviously, airspun, translucent. We're gonna bake under the eye. You're trying to put that on, not real heavy, but heavy enough to where you'll have access to dust off. So wherever I've done that highlighter color, the highlight color, I'm putting this on a little heavy. All right, you're gonna leave that on a couple of minutes. All right, next, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with a contour. I'm gonna step a little bit backwards today for no reason other than it's just how I'm doing it. All right. So I'm going in with semi-flat brush, darkest color uh, contour, and Yeah, exactly. Which was good. I mean, it just shows that's the way back in the day, Ronald Reagan and like, mm -hmm. Tip O'Neill. 
take and blend that out just a little bit. I'm going in with a flat brush. Just blending this out just a touch. On the sides and temples. The worst singer on carpool karaoke. Going in with an angled brush, and I'm picking up a vanilla, a vanilla highlight. I'm gonna go right in over top of that baking of the airspun, which was translucent. This is vanilla highlight. It's matte. Chin. Back over those areas that we put the highlight before, the lighter color, the number 10 porcelain. Alright. Okay, the next thing we're going to go in, I'm going to go back in with the. I think I'm going to use the iridescent. Let's do NYX iridescent. It is called Frostbit. So, right at the base of the lash line, or the, I'm sorry, the uh, eyebrow. To the corner. And then you bring that right on the inner edge of your lower lid. All on that, we're gonna going to go in with. Let's pick a different palette today. I'm gonna go in with uh, Color Me Buff W7 palette, and I'm gonna go in with a gold. Right at the base of the eyelash line. To the center, up to the crease. This is a really pretty uh, metallic gold. So gold, this color is actually, it's called camel. Take that same color right on the center of the lower lash line. Same color palette, and we're going to go in with, uh, it's called Topaz, it's a darker brown. 
picking up a different brush. This brush has got a little bit of an angle on it. Like Verizon's best smartphones for only ten dollars per month, like the Samsung Galaxy S7, the Pixel, phoned by Google, or the Moto Z. And we're gonna go at an angle here. Plus, hurry in and switch to Verizon now and get up to six hundred and fifty dollars to cover your costs. There's still time to get amazing deals at Verizon. The things that I consume on a daily basis, a lot of it is very acidic. Love this topaz color. The whiteness and wasn't there as much. My teeth didn't look as healthy as others. So I took that color from the edge of where we did the gold on the, on the lower from there to the edge of my eye on the lower lash. It's really important to start using the line. That'll be one less thing you have to worry about. Gorgeous, gorgeous topaz color. This will be a definite repeat. Anyone with type 2 diabetes knows how it feels to see your numbers go up. Despite your best efforts, it's right to the edge of that gold on the underneath. You could turn things around. And again, you can. This will go on a little bit heavier. Their colors. This color is very pigmented, which is gorgeous. But we'll blend all this out. So I'm gonna go up just a little. A pill taken just once in the morning. More on this eye. It's used along with diet and exercise to significantly lower blood sugar in adults. Gotta make sure they're pretty even. In fact, it's been proven to be more effective at lowering A1C than genuine. Love that color. Okay, gonna go in with just a this one. I'm not, I think this is actually a, a let's see. IQ natural brush. I'm not sure where I got it. It's had it, I've had it for years. So just take it up the edge of your eye. And what this does, it cleans up that line for one. And then if you have any underneath, just dust it off. All right, we're going to blend may include kidney problems, genital yeast that darker color into that edge of that gold just to soften it some. Risk of bone fracture or urinary tract infections, I love sex. this topaz color. Gorgeous. Serious side effects may include ketoacidosis, which can be life-threatening. Stop taking and call your doctor right away if you experience symptoms. All right. If you experience symptoms of allergic reaction, such so I'm going to take powder brush. It does have an angle on it. This one is Echo Tools. I've been using this one probably for a year and a half. And we're just going to kind of dust off where we did the airspun and then went in with that vanilla color matte highlight. It's time to turn things around. Lower your blood sugar with Invokana. Imagine loving your numbers. There's only one Invokana. And I'm going in with just a little bit more airspun. Just to make sure that I'm blended in really well. Okay, let's pick us a lipstick today. I think I'm going to go in with uh, probably Kat Von D uh, Double Dare. It's a real pretty rosy color. Love this lipstick. It's very creamy, smooth. It works well. Uh, you can eat. It doesn't come off. You can drink water, whatever. It doesn't come off. Very pretty color. If you're looking for a color that you can wear every day, that's... That's like a pinky, rosy, naturally, a little deeper pink, rosy pink mauve color. Very pretty color. Okay, so Double Dare by Kat Von D, that lip color, um, I love this color. It's still creamy. Let it dry for about a minute, 
and you're good to go. Okay, I'm gonna go in with Wet n Wild, and this color is Pearl Scent Pink, just to give the cheeks a little bit of color. Right from the, uh, where you did that little bit of a contour, that line, and then it kind of just come right up above it. I will see your cheeks. This is a good color to you uh, that you can wear every day. Um, it's not, you can make it bold, but it's a really good color for just every day. All right. Thin line of black liner. You could use a uh, a brown or a charcoal gray it would be pretty with these colors. Not doing a wean dye today. Just going for a little bit of a bold eye, and obviously I'm going in with my favorite lash sensation. This one's very black, always waterproof. I love this mascara. And when I do my mascara, I do touch right at the edge of my lash line so that I can create the look of an eyeliner so that I don't have to put an eyeliner there if I don't want to. So it really does look like I have a uh, black liner there, but it's just mascara touching the edge of the waterline and the lashes. Normally one coat of this mascara is absolutely all that you need. Unless you're going for a bolder lash. Okay. Put it in once. And it's all the product you'll need per eye. So just touch your lash line. Right at the edge of the waterline. And that creates the look and feel of eyeliner on your bottom lash line. Again, I'm still using the same bit of product that I had on the brush. I've not gone back in. So one, you go in once per eye. And I just keep going back over the, the lashes to keep separating them. I don't like my lashes to be clumpy. So one pass on each eye and bam. One coat. Looks pretty good. Make your eyes bold. So let that dry for about, about a minute. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the hair. I'm gonna kind of re-wet. Because it's air dried quite a bit. And I don't know how I'm gonna do my hair today, so. Just water. So I went with, again, this is more just a muted, neuter, uh, not neuter, but well, that's not even a word, more muted look for the day. It did go a little bit bolder on the eyes, but this topaz color um, is gorgeous. It's not real real dark. It's like a brown bronze, and then I used the gold on the inside from the uh, lash line to the crease. Love these colors together. With that iridescent, I wasn't expecting that to look that good, but it does. All right.
I'm not putting any product in this morning. video on me coloring my own hair. It's quite the task, but I've been doing my own hair color since I was 13. all the water knocked out of it. figure out which way we're gonna go. I believe we're gonna go this way we get today. Gonna go left. I do want a little bit of Yeah. 
go in with a little bit of product. I've tried this a couple of times. I'm still not convinced that this is the product I need to be using for my hair. I've got thick, heavy hair, even with it short all over the back. My hair is thick and it's heavy. I'm going in with, I got to be beach mat on the short hair. I'm just rubbing it all the way into my scalp through the hair. And then I'm gonna go back and kind of just run my fingers through it to uh, kind of give it a little bit of definition. Just trying to get these out of the way. And it's a paste. So to me, the paste should be sticky, a little bit thick, and it's not. So again, I'm just going all the way to the root with the product and then going back. And running my fingers back through it just to kind of give it a little bit of texture. This look is wanting to come forward again today for some reason. Picking up another, just a little bit on the edge of your finger. The other thing about this product is I don't like because it doesn't have a, you can't squeeze it out. I've got nails, it's hard to get hair color or a product out of a, of a tube or a jar. I'm putting this on the root. Pulling it from the root about midway up that hair shaft. Picking up a little bit more of the product, running it through my fingers. Again, root about halfway up. Same right here, root. Root, pulling about halfway up and then coming off the ends, not putting this product on the ends of my hair. Because I will go back in with a uh, hairspray. Bet you can't guess which one. I'm not trying to create volume today or I would use uh, the biotin volume, but I'm not trying to create volume. I'm kind of trying to create a texture and I'm not convinced this is the product I should be using. So this is what I'm using today. I might not use it again. And going on your hair, it's wet filling. It's creamy to me. A paste should be like paste. It should have a little bit of thickness to it. And I feel like it weighs my hair down just a touch. Right, I'm going to wipe that excess off. Obviously, favorite, going in with Kendra 25. And we're going to start piecing this out. Brand. Just trying to put additional texture. And what I'm doing is taking and pulling just the tips of my hair with the hairspray. I put the other product from the root about halfway up the hair shaft. And all I'm doing now is taking the tips, doing the same thing, kind of just pulling through the ends of my hair. Only reason for this is to create create a little bit of texture. And then if I want to try, try to create just a little bit of volume, I can lift with this Kenra 25 just to give it a little bit of craziness. Peace out. I don't like my hair to be just all one direction. I don't like it to be smooth per se most of the time. I do like texture. And I'm going to take hair dryer on low, grab it at the root, and literally take my fingers and pull it through. And what I'm doing is taking that and I'm piecing it out. And with that Kenra hairspray, it'll take those pieces and it holds that style. Again, pull it through, and it gives a little bit of volume. Same thing, pull it up, 
heat at the root just a touch out the ends one more spray just looking for a little bit of extra hold today because it is windy today and that's it and if you want to put like a um, smoothing balm or something on your hair you can but keep in mind you got short hair the more product you got on it the more product you put on it the more it weighs it down all right we're gonna blow or um, curl your eyelashes real quick And it just instantly opens up your eyes more than they were. So you spread those out. That's your lashes. And then I'm going to go in with one last thing today. And this is um, Argon Oil Coat with Coconut Water by Physicians Formula. It's a primer. And then I will go in with Elf, which is uh, the Makeup Mist and Set, and I'll be finishing this off. Let that dry completely, but don't touch your face. Let that all dry, and you're good to go. So, less than 40 minutes today. Um, I did wasn't in such a hurry but thank you for watching this video um i have got several new videos coming different types of tutorials i've got a couple new things doing i will be doing um another eyebrow i've got a um a routine i do for my eyelashes um i think helps keep them long and i have lost some of the volume with my eyelashes but those videos will be coming i got a, a diy project um in the mix that i'm in the project process of doing um, I will be coloring my hair, doing that on video as well. So stay tuned. Got a bunch of new things coming, different things to be watching. And if there's something you'd like to see, please post in the comments below. Let me know if you liked the video. How would you like me to change it? And just bear with me. I am new to this. I'm working on a new state. Uh, I guess you call it a station or a set. Uh, set. Um, that will be coming here in the next month or so. So thank you for watching. Ladies in your 40s, stay tuned. And if there's any skincare products or situations, um, any products that you like that you think I should try, please post that in the comments below too. I will follow you, share your pages and any of your comments. And thank you again for watching this video. Have an amazing day.